And now, CastNet presents the candidates in our election coverage for 2011. You know, the thing I like about the Liberal Party is that it very closely aligns with my own values. I'm a nurse, I have an MBA, so that means, you know, I have strong leanings towards social justice. But uh, my business background uh, gives me some temperance with respect to fiscal prudence. So I know that although we have a lot of social needs in Canada, um, not all of those are achievable because there's only so much money to go around. I believe that um, the thing that strikes a chord with me the most about the Liberal Party is because they have a very family-friendly platform and, you know, the way I look at it, this platform goes back to Trudeau era days. Mr. Trudeau was a very well-respected man and I respect him too and this platform that the Liberal Parties have today demonstrates that we're here to help Canadian families. You know, we don't need $2 billion payouts to big oil and banks every year, like what is currently being done from the Conservatives, and we're borrowing money to do that. We don't need that. We have already the most competitive tax, one of the most competitive tax rates around. We're actually 25% less. Our comp corporate tax rates are 25% less than the Americans, which puts us in a super competitive position. So for right now, the Liberals want to freeze corporate tax rates, or sorry, maintain corporate tax rates at 2010 levels. And that means that we will have those billions of dollars to be able to put towards Canadian families to help them, where the help is needed the most. Things that are meaningful to Canadians, like having caregiver support in the home. A family member can now be paid for uh, supporting their loved one at home for up to six months. It's a kind of like an EI type program and you don't have to worry about quitting your job or running out of funds to be able to do that. Another thing I like about the Liberal Party that's very family friendly is they want to re-establish that national child care plan that was negotiated with the provinces and then the Conservatives dismantled that in Mr. Harper's first act of office. History has shown that people who work in health care and who work at universities are more likely to vote Liberal. So I think in the last few years the demographic of Kelowna has changed. And I think we're going to see that change at the polls this time. I believe, though, that to make change happen so that we have more trust and accountability with our government and more transparency, people absolutely have to get out and vote. And we know that youth can be difficult to reach, so we've concentrated efforts. As a matter of fact, we have one dedicated person on our campaign team who's dedicated her efforts at um, targeting our information to youth. We're on Facebook, Twitter, websites, and we make sure that youth are engaged and that we participate in events that are meaningful to youth. So youth, seniors, everyone needs to get out and vote.